The managers warned us about you. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. Sure, whatever. This is a store, right? Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. Sure, whatever. This is a store, right? Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. Sure, whatever. This is a store, right? Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. How can I help you? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain space-born vagabonds. You have a problem with spacers? With any transient population. Unreliable consumer bases. Tax dodgers, probably. I had no idea we were so troubling to your bottom line. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. And I represent the second guessing of galactic law. Just so we understand each other. I will not allow you to harass our clients. This world is private property. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Let him be stubborn, Shepard. I'm sure someone else here is willing to help us. What did you mean by personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? Odd that you shouldn't mind their presence. They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with... You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. I can bludgeon pretty hard. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. 
not within earshot of Mr. Analeas. Talk to you later. Very well. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your... my... real intentions. Strange people skulking in corners have gotten me in trouble before. I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in binary helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off-topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. What sort of a... Good. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to mention numbers. They don't write them down. Full benefits, of course. No, I'm sure the company takes care of You hear about the resort then? At the equator. Can I help you? Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas sales. Were you interested in our services? I might be. That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. Mr. Vargas, I'm here to talk business with you. If you'd rather speculate on politics, I can visit another Gen Inch firm. You have my full attention, Shepard. I'm merely getting a handle on my negotiating position. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. We can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in CG muscle degeneracy. 
Mars Jean's clotting enhancement improved speed by 16%. Oh, I see you've done some research. That's their official claim. However, we believe they cherry-picked their sample to show optimum results. The numbers we provide are strict mathematical averages. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision, and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. That's the commercial price for individual purchasers. I'm offering you millions of jobs, Mr. Vargas. That's worth more than some stock sensory upgrades. I'll give you a cautious probably. There is a standard discount for bulk orders, but I can't authorize that. I can push it upstairs. I'm sure someone will get back to you on it. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here from business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely legal. I wear a lot of hats, Mr. Vargas. Some days I shut down criminals, some days I defuse nukes, some days I like to enjoy private vices. You understand me? I suppose. My apologies. Your manner is rather informal for a business meeting. Sounds like my crew needs me for something. I'll be in touch. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to doing business with the city. Any results? Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. I could easily call Mr. Vargas and tell him what I just did. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. Good day, Spectre. I'm sorry. The hotel is off limits to those without a corporate account. Don't hang up. Elder brother? It's me. I'm on the very end. I can't talk long. This call is costing 10 credits a minute. It's real-time from the troopers. Which one would be cheap? I need some information. There's an issue here. Let's see. Beat it. I said beat it! Find something else to do, stupid mammal. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Loric Keen? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I fail to see how this gets me into the garage. Put bluntly, the administrator demands rent kickbacks from the companies on Novaria. I acquired evidence of Analeas' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. That sounds like a fair trade. Violence against Mr. Analeas' thugs may be necessary. He has members of Hanshan's security team searching my offices. 
He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. If he's paying them under the table, they're mercenaries. I can kill mercenaries. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? Spectre, right? Who's asking? Don't worry. I'm not out to put a slug in your head. I used to be a military tech. Except for my ego's people, everyone's too corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. So what can I do for you today? How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. You can get one from Analeas or the managers. If you can polish enough gizzard. Maybe you could let me borrow yours? Sure. If I wanted to lose my job and get sued into the next spiral arm, security tracks card use. How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. I have to go. You need anything, I'll be here. Hanshan Security. This office is sealed. What'll you do if I don't? You're the Spectre, right? Laura Keen is under investigation. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. That makes you a criminal. I can kill criminals. You're bluffing. How do you rate your confidence in that? 90th percentile? Is a 10% chance of death acceptable? He ain't paying me enough to take on Spectres or Alliance troops or whatever. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Look out! I will you. I will destroy you.
I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. Do you plan on making me leave? Leave? You think I'm gonna let you walk out? Uh-uh. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? You are here off duty breaking the law for bribe money. You expect us to feel bad for stopping you? If you want a fight, I'll give you one. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? Of course not. Why would I? Don't play me, Shepard. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. What do you want? The executive board knows about Analeas' corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. If your executive board loses a few million credits, it's not my problem. I have my own mission. Yes, yes. Fate of billions and all that. I couldn't possibly understand how important your work is. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. 
In the long run, it is better to remove the source of the problem. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You Spectres play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. Keen is offering to pay me. Can you? I can produce a copy of Analeas's pass for you. I can't move large sums of money without someone noticing. I'll keep Keen's evidence. If you have any love for the law, you'll talk to Keen for me. Don't disappoint me. You know where I work. Come talk to me when you change your mind. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? Not yet. Well, there are still plenty of drinks I have not yet sampled. I should let you go. Let me go. The humans consider conversation a form of imprisonment? That would explain why so few are willing to sit and talk. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Analeas. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. If necessary, yes. Do what I tell you to, or Analeas will find what he's looking for. It is good to have all our cards on the table. I regret that you have a better hand. Very well, I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. I have not been contacted regarding our arrangement yet. Are things in hand? I should let you go. If you wish, I will continue to enjoy the bar. Spectre, have you given any more consideration to my offer? It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a Spectre and all. I guess some of you can be all right. So, how about getting me into the garage? While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. You, Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer.
Access to the garage is restricted. I have authorization. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Aleutsk Valley. <laughs>